As it became clear that this battle will rage on, however, Dr. Justin Dunnell of the Second Corps would find himself as one of the major players in the transition of surgeons from ground zero crisis managers to effective administrators in the weeks ahead. This is a slide of the early days of the Second Corps Hospital. Um, it obviously was not taken right after the battle because remember, they didn't have tents, tools, and the hospital site had been in constant movement uh, for several days. As a matter of fact, uh, Justin Dwinnell, who was a surgeon with the 106th Pennsylvania, he began at the Patterson Farm, which is located across from our maintenance facility on the Tawny Town Road. And at that farm, the wounded were coming in, some of them on foot, uh, some of them by stretcher and ambulance from the aid stations. And his immediate concerns before they had a permanent hospital location were simply to getting them fed and bedded down. So on the night of July the 2nd, after the Second Corps' major fight, uh, he said, I think at midnight there were none who had not been provided with good nourishing food. We were successful in finding sufficient hay for bedding for all of them. Those that lay outdoors, excuse me, were as well and perhaps better than those in the barn, they being less crowded and having a purer atmosphere. This reveals the common 19th century surgeon's concern of overcrowding and stale air. Uh, they did their surgeries most often out of doors, partially because there's no electricity and, and they have the, the light, the natural light, but partly because they just, they, they just had this fear of overcrowding. They didn't know it was germs and passing things around, uh, but they, they were starting to get a sense that that was better for the patient. Uh, 